How are you today? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. So how have you been? In all this I've been doing okay. Just trying to stay cool. 71 is 12, 13, 14, 15, and 20. There we are, honey. You try and have a good day. Okay, you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, baby. Sammy, take one. Tell me about Ohio. What's uh, good about Ohio? Ohio? We have changes in seasons most of the time. Uh, we have a lot of sports teams in Ohio. The younger generation seem to care more about soccer. I pay attention a little bit because they were trying to keep the crew here, and now they're staying. So now we're getting another team. They need a, a rival. And if Cincinnati's the rival, that's great. Hell is real. Well, that could be true. There was a bit of everything in this match. It had early goals, it had late drama. You had controversy. It had blood. I think chaos is the best way to put it. The atmosphere was great. It had it all, man. Kind of pick it up and put it on your shoulder. Uh, today, it's the day of the first uh, Hell is Real match in MLS between uh, the Columbus Crew and FC Cincinnati. We have an opportunity to prove that Ohio is black and gold. And I think we're ready to make that statement. I think we're going to make it, and we're going to make it loudly. The name Hell is Real comes from a sign that is familiar to anyone who's ever traveled between Columbus and Cincinnati. Big. Big letters, hell is real. The fans picked up on it right away. When these two teams come together, it's gonna to be fire and brimstone. And obviously in a passionate in-state rivalry, maybe the loser feels like they've gone to hell. So it picked up steam. When they played in the Open Cup in 17, that's when the tensions really started to get even. Some may call it an MLS audition. Could be the start of something special, guys. The U.S. Open Cup match against Columbus was massive. It was intense. In the round where the USL teams play MLS teams, we draw the Columbus crew at home. As soon as we saw the draw, we knew it was going to be an exciting game. On the field, it was definitely chippy. Little scuffles, pressure on the ball. They were up for it. Nipper Stadium absolutely buzzing. It is truly David versus Goliath. We thought we're going to walk in there and we will show these minor league soccer players what time it is. When GB got his head on it, it was absolute pandemonium. GB again, and GB has done it, and FC Cincinnati has the lead. He scored that goal that won it for him, and they just played with 11 goalkeepers the rest of the game. Eventually, we came out victorious. FC Cincinnati wins the first ever Ohio Derby. We belong and we just showed you we belong. We achieved a historic story victory that night. It really put us on the map. And Crew SC faces a long 100 mile drive back to Columbus tonight. That was a rough summer. A Couple months later, we found out that our team might be moving to Austin, Texas. Columbus Crew SC is one of the original franchises of Major League Soccer, but the team's future here in Columbus now stands in jeopardy. What the hell? Obviously, the first emotion that, that you feel is just total and complete disconnection from reality. This is our thing. This is our community. This is our... This is who we are. You can't do that. Like, you just can't do that. It's unfathomable to move a, a team because of the, the roots that they, they tend to plant. Columbus is a city of firsts when it comes to soccer, so if there was gonna be a community that saved their team, why not us? Hi guys, I'm Jenny Britton Bauer, and I cannot Columbus. imagine this Tell city, city without the crew. It's a, it's a place that I call home, and it's, a, it's an integral part of my life. This is not over. We're all part of this family. Everywhere you go, you see Columbus Crew stickers on cars. We worked together every single day. Only one thought in mind, save this community, save this team, save the crew. Hearing that the Columbus Crew might leave sucked. We wanted that rivalry. We wanted them to stay so that we could beat them. <laughs> MLS is committed to keeping the crew in Columbus. Wow! On October 12th, 2018, 
It was announced that they were going to keep the crew in Columbus. You guys saved the crew. It was the happiest day of my life. That doesn't happen. Where, where does that happen? I don't know where else you see that in sports. It's the happiest of endings. It's just a truly remarkable, remarkable story. This club's here to stay. We kind of knew going into MLS that this would be a pretty rough inaugural season. We're an expansion franchise. We've had 277 days to get ready for this. We knew we'd take it on the chin a little bit this year because we just didn't have enough time. This season has been one of transition for the club. We saved the crew. Everything was sunshine and rainbows. And then on the field, it's kind of been a year of what will go wrong next. Ohio soccer tribalism at its highest. Now we're in a race to the bottom, and honestly, it gives more spice to this rivalry because if we can hand them the wooden spoon instead of us having to take it, that's just a cherry on top. Our fans want to see us beat FC Cincinnati at the very least. If we win, this season is a success. As long as we beat the crew, it's a good year. The first ever Major League Soccer match between these two clubs. The match was one of the most intense games I've ever called for FC Cincinnati. It was non-stop action. Parecía como si, como el perro hambriento que lo tienes agarrado y cuando le suelta la rienda se sale a comerse el mundo. Their foot was on the gas from the opening whistle. Cincinnati from their second corner kick of this first half. Set pieces are something that are very dangerous. We got a little fixated on Kendall Watson. I saw three guys follow Kendall. And as soon as I saw it over Kendall, I'm like, this is going in the back of the net. I actually jumped over the ball, you know, so I had to duck a little bit to try to get it on target. Yo, up, the header is in! It's Maddox! I think I did a pretty good job. From there, it rattled us a bit and obviously gave them a lot of life, which led to the second goal. It's across into the box. I thought Alex, you know, my partner was going to clear it, but he didn't, so he went through all of us. And then Manu Ledesma picking a perfect spot. And all of a sudden, less than 30 minutes in, it's 2-0. Me exalté un poco con la con la celebración que patía el cartel y nada, pero bueno, es cuando se está en un estado de la adrenalina altísimo y de emoción, se te apaga la tele y es lo que primero que se te sale por la cabeza. This is not how the script was supposed to go. Whenever you get punched in the face, well, there's nowhere else to go but up. After the 2-0, we had nothing to lose, so we start to play more freedom. This was the key for the comeback. At the end of the first half, crew get a little bit of momentum. made the contact, penalty. It was only a small push. The referee, he could give it, and he did. I knew for sure there was contact because I wouldn't have fell. For me, uh, it's, there's no pressure with PKs. The penalty really buoyed our spirits a lot right before halftime. We can make this happen. Sancho sets off the second half. The second half begins right after the hour mark. You get a quick foul on Lamont. Harrison has the wherewithal to take it short and take it quick. And then I look up and I see Pedro in some space, so I just find him. I received the ball in the pocket, and when I turned, I, I just looking the goal, and I felt confident. I saw the ball, you know, left his foot. I was like, whoa. He got a hold of that one. I scored a, a beautiful goal. The final 15 minutes of the match was completely chaotic. It was anarchy for both sides. This thing's still not over. Matar's on the goal, and it's a crossbar! It just happened so quickly. Next thing you know, I see the ball over the goal, and I'm like, how did that happen? We had four or five of the best chances that we've had all year. He's going to get it back. disappointing that we didn't score one of those because we could have completed the comeback. And full time! You know, I'm still a little bit in shock that we didn't win the game. We should have won. We should have won.
should have won. Columbus and Cincinnati thrill and delight for a final of 2-2 at Monterey. Yeah. A draw leaves things up in the air. FC Cincinnati still has never lost to the Columbus crew. The game at Nipper will be difficult. Our number one priority is to beat the crew. It's going to take everything. There will be more fans. There will be more energy. And there will probably be more hostility. And I think this will be a good for you. I think it's good. You need healthy competition. If there's no competition, if everybody's got the same thing and it's all fair, what fun is it? That's what competition's for. <laughs> it's the blue takeover. It's blue, mostly blue, and orange. But mostly blue. Everybody's blued out. My name is Ronaldo Black. I've been living in Cincinnati, Ohio for 39 years. I just happened to be riding down the street one day, and I just looked over, and I seen all these people going in the stadium, so I just asked these guys, where was everybody going? And they told me about the soccer game. We always looking for something new. That's just what kind of city we is. And we got a rival. Columbus and Cincinnati, we just, we don't get along. So we gotta beat Columbus. We got to. Hell is real. I mean, I like the name. It's a good rival name. But nobody wants to go to hell. Let's go, SEC! The first Hell is Real matchup was a great battle. That set up unfinished business in Cincinnati. And the chance to send a message not only to Columbus, but to Major League Soccer that we deserve to be here. Today is the second match of Hell is Real in MLS. We're at Mecklenburg Gardens, which is our home. It's the oldest restaurant in Cincinnati. There's a nickname that Cincinnati got, I don't know when, but it's like the Republic of Cincinnati. It's always been Cincinnati versus everyone. And I think when FCC came in, it was just another thing to show that passion, to show that pride for the city. So for us, I think this was a game, especially at home, we've been looking forward to when we were talking about moving to MLS. We are ready for play, and professional soccer has landed in the city of Cincinnati. The story of FC Cincinnati is a pretty short and, and quick one. Launched the team in August of 2015. And that first match on April 9th of 2016, it's 38 degrees. We expected maybe 10,000 people to show up. And there's 14,000 people at Newark Stadium. Everybody chanting FCC, FCC. Do you hear that right there? 14,000 chanting FCC. And it just gave you goosebumps. Look into scissor kick it, <laughs> and there it is! The first ever goal at Nippert Stadium. We couldn't believe it. The expansion club has won in their first ever home match. It's just grown from there. The first year the team averaged 17,000 fans, and then 20,000 fan mark. And then their last year in the USL averaging 25, 26,000 fans per match. This isn't a fan. It all started to take hold for them in that U.S. Open Cup run in 2017. Welcome to Newburgh Stadium for the fourth round of the U.S. Open Cup. That Open Cup run put us on the map. The first time we ever played the Columbus Crew, we beat the Crew one to nothing. FC Cincinnati wins the first ever Ohio Derby. Then Chicago comes in. Which was the most amazing game that we've played in. And it's the magical penalty kick night. Schweinsteiger for Chicago. From the spot, McLaughlin! And it was just very storybook. And Hildebrand has done it again! FC Cincinnati with the biggest win in club history. And the underdogs have prevailed once again! And so now we're in the Open Cup semifinals. We draw a home match against the Red Bulls. Don Garber was in the house that night. Walker on the service. There it is! The hometown hero! Even though it ends in a loss. And New York scored three unanswered to take the lead. It was still special, and that's when you know there's no way Major League Soccer is going to pass on Cincinnati. This is the moment that you've all been waiting for. It's my great pleasure to announce that 
Cincinnati, Ohio is officially granted the newest expansion club in Major League Soccer. Welcome, FC Cincinnati. And then we were asked if we could be ready 277 days later, the shortest turnaround ever. Off and running. And then boom, here we are. After only 11 games into the MLS season, FCC head coach Alan Koch out. This first season in MLS has been rough. This roster needs to improve. We're getting put through the ringer. No wins in seven games. It's been a strange and wild ride. We had some up and downs. We don't never score no points. We need somebody that can get that ball in the goal. One goal <laughs> in the past month and a half. This is like a historically bad team. Alan Koch is fired, and now with Ron Jans coming in, and he brings the Dutch football mentality. When you're bottom of the table, there's only one way, it's up. And honestly, I think that's great as a fan. You get your dark times. It's been a bad year for FC Cincinnati. So that when things get better, you can enjoy it more. They need to start to build towards next year. It doesn't matter what other game we lose, as long as we beat the crew, it's a good year. Well, we're not asking for much this season, but just don't lose this game at home. We now have this opportunity to tell the world that the state of Ohio is still black and gold. They're about to find out. FC Sensei! Ugh, just get out of my face. I hate the color orange or whatever it is. Columbus crew barely survived, and no one can get enough of FC Cincinnati. We're the new hotness. And like last time, they're leaving with a loss. Win or lose, the fans come out. We're used to having people coming after us, having negative things to say about Cincinnati, and we're always going to prove them wrong. FC Cincinnati versus Columbus Crew SC. And the emotion starts right now. These rivalry games, it just has a different feeling, doesn't it, JP? This was a very important game. The attendance was, I think, the biggest of the season. There was a feeling going into the match that that was FC Cincinnati's Super Bowl. This is a moment that we can cement history. Las dos aficiones, no importa cómo estés en la tabla, y nos dan más ganas de jugar, más ganas de correr. Wow, this is the games that everybody wants to play. It's going to be fire. It's going to be chaos. The hell is getting hotter and hotter. <laughs> Underway from Cincinnati. From the opening whistle, it felt like a 180 flip from the previous match. They'll look long for Zardis immediately. We had our foot on the gas. We're aggressive, we're confident. Loves to go forward. Another inviting ball for Zardis. This game, I think, was like vice versa. Our, our main goal in this game was to score first. Dressy on the break, Diaz. That first goal was a thing of beauty. Setting it in again, Zardis there, and that time he scores. He wanted this so bad. It was redemption. Our fans are ecstatic. The momentum shifted our way, and we're still being aggressive. Cincinnati at home trailing one to nothing in this hell is real derby. Second goal was similar setup. Harrison off hold. Again, he looks for Zardes. He brought it down. Zardes, his second goal. It was perfect. Like, the run, everything was on point. And I remember thinking in my head, all right, half an hour in, it's 2-0. We've seen this story before. Diaz in the box, setting it in. What a terrific goal by Diaz. Three. They didn't know what hit them, you know. First half three, come on. A very, very rough first half it has been for FC Cincinnati. In the second half, we proved that we can be equals of Columbus. Cruz, low shot deflected! FC Cincinnati are really playing for jobs. But in the end, uh, we scored too late. Ledesma, inside, Mane! And Kakuna Mane breaks that shutout for us. I was playing against my former team. If anyone was going to score, I would have to be me. And look out here. Library week. When you are losing, you are frustrated. You are mad. A veces un clásico y no piensas. En ese momento, me bajó la luz del cielo y me dijo, correte de ahí porque va a terminar mal. I don't know day, but I didn't give them the ball. Just held on to it. This is my ball. <laughs> That is it. Well, Columbus Crew fans will have a nice drive home. Caleb Porter's team gets the win tonight. You're disappointed. 
you're angry. It was a good lesson, but a very hard lesson. Nobody likes to lose. Worse with your rival. I told you, I told you. It was really important for this club having that moment where we're celebrating on the opponent's field in their stadium. That was, that was special for us. What a great feeling it was to travel back and pass the hell is real sign and know that we avoided being in hell. As both these clubs build up into something bigger, we'll remember these games as the origin of what will be a very strong MLS rivalry moving forward. The future of this rivalry and the future of both of these teams is so bright. It can only get better from here. It really can, and it will. FC Cincinnati is building a new stadium in historic West End, right downtown, and I think it's gonna be one of the best stadiums in the league. When they open the new stadium, that's going to elevate this club to an entirely different level, and that'll elevate the rivalry that much further. We have to now elevate our game on the field, off the field, in our new stadium. It's a 230 million plus stadium to be located downtown along the river in the arena district. On top of that, we are renovating our current stadium into a world-class community sports park that will include an academy and our training ground. Major League Soccer has some unique and special rivalries, and they're all located on the East Coast or the West Coast. But now you have two Midwest teams located in the same state that don't like each other. It's going to be great. They will have their new stadium. We will have our own. We will have different fans coming in to join. Soccer is definitely the new wave, and I'm about to start going to the games when they open up the new stadium downtown. People are passionate about all of their sports in Ohio, and soccer is now added to the list because of Hell is Real. Want to see some more of this? Check out these goals over here. Hit subscribe to get all of our videos. Oh,